I'm going to stop drinking soda or I'm going to not hit anybody's pets in their yard. Why? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Lilibet. Lilibet? That's not a real name. It is a real name. Um, what ethnic or you, country First of origin? First you have to say hi, Fred, hi, Frank. And this here is Frank or Jack in the Box. We're Frank in the Box. A, uh, a new little look for him. Such a scary look. We don't have any of these Jack in the Boxes in the area. We don't. We're on the East Coast of yeah. the United States. So we don't have Jack in the Box. Uh uh, fast food? No. Restaurant. He is a snowman, and nobody ever says that. He's a snowman. It's a round snowman head with a pointy, you can't tell from that angle, but it's like kind of a carrot nose, but it's black. I thought what he was was a jack in the box. But I've had jack in boxes, and they're jesters. I thought he was a clown. He's supposed to be a clown, but I just don't get it. I don't know what the original. And if you see, I think the Jack in the Box guy, he wears like suspenders and a shirt and pants. Oh, I didn't even know there was a full size person. Yeah. Well, how else would he appear at stuff? Uh, like a big head with arms coming out of like the sides here. Oh, like a Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> Kool-Aid man. It's Jack in the Box. I don't know why. Yeah. he He's a clown snowman. Um, He's a clown snowman combo type of person but um yeah i'm lilibet which is um okay so the most famous lilibet at this point is at this time which is february 22nd february 22nd uh 2023 two, 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 whoa uh is lilibet diana mountbatten windsor so do you know who that is no oh the windsor the windsor castle it's it's char it's uh charlie Harry and Meghan's daughter. Oh. Lilibet Diana. Oh, shout out mom. So, and shout out grandma. So Lilibet is the name of, it's the nickname, it was the nickname of Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth Lilibet. Okay. When when Elizabeth was a child, she couldn't pronounce her own name. Mm. And um, she would call herself Lilibet. So it became the nickname. Gotcha. So is it a name beyond, like, of course, people now use it because of they have knew it from her. But like, was it a nickname before that? I don't know. But it's this child's given Christian baptized oh, now, name. Now you care about old grandma. I know. Well, a little bit. Now you care about old grandma. Forget her. Do you know what a quadlibet is? Uh, that's when you get four girls named Elizabeth in the same room. <laughs> well, um... Maybe, but it's, it's, I know, I'm, I know I'm saying quad, but it's, it's actually spelled Q U O D. So it's quod. like, quote the bet. Quod, quod, quod. What, quad. what is it? It's, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's quite a confusing. Fits um, into the, uh, the theme. Well, it's Latin. Did you take Latin? No, never. Never will. Did you ever know anyone who took Latin? Uh, a lot of people. All your doctor friends? No, my religion major friends. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But we see what t- two we're from two different worlds. Yeah, I think medical, and you think that. So quad clerical in quad is what and libet is pleases. So it is it, it, it's Latin for whatever you please or whatever uh, you wish or whatever. So you want. it's like or what if someone asks like, "What do you want to eat tonight?" It's a quad libet. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I only know it in the musical composition way, which is like. You can put in oh, other like, people's songs into your mix, oh. which like seems to me like current day sampling. Yeah, maybe you could figure it or out. Or no, wait, wouldn't it more mean like it? Like that's the part where you can just go on a riff. Yeah, maybe if you're Mozart, and it's like that's like there's a sign for quadlibet, and so we you don't have music. What, what are you feeling right now? Maybe because it does say for humorous <laughs> effect. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and it like is a, more famous in. Classical music. Yeah. So it's probably like, a, you know, like when there's the trumpet solo and it's like, yeah, just start Yeah, vibing. You know what I did? I also, when I was looking it up, I did see jazz references. So yeah. you're probably correct. So speaking. Because how do you put in, like there needs to be, a, yeah, I guess, a right. word for have a solo. Right. If it tells you what the solo is, it's not, it's not a solo. Hmm, hmm. Quad the bet. Um, and speaking of music and speaking of the queen, um. 
Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Prince, <clears throat> Prince Charles. I couldn't, I couldn't get my mind to say King Charles. Not because I don't like him, just because I was You're like, not used to it. You, you, I'm for not the used past to ninety it. years. You have for ninety it. years. Yeah, I, have a little, I was there every day calling yeah. out Queen Elizabeth's name. She wasn't even a queen for ninety years, but um, he's King Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was taking my time. <laughs> he is King Charles. Yes. Like good King Charles. Good King Charles. Is being coronated. This sounds like, you know, when you're in acting and you need to say words. Yeah. You know, the, king Charles coronated. The good King Charles is being coronated. Um, in May, maybe? Maybe your month? So they're just without any any ruler right now? He is the king, but king he hasn't proxy. been. Yeah. Hasn't been sworn in. He hasn't been knighted. It's not sworn. It's, it is a religious ceremony where they let uh. the spirit of the kingship enter him. <laughs> in the church man times have changed uh, okay it's the coronation it's a huge deal i believe only english pe <clears throat> only english people can go so like if we went to england <clears throat> so sorry um no apology needed okay i think to get ticket tickets not even i don't know i read i read something that said like it's going to be highly sought after type of thing to be along the road but to go to something, you had to actually be a resident. Um, there's going to be lots of music there. The king and his <laughs> the king and his and his uh, his men, like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> What's that called? All the king's men. Yeah, um, the king's men. Yeah, the king's men. They have. They're doing so much stuff. What kind of music? What kind of da, 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 da. how many quadlibets? <laughs> the quad. We got to pick the quadlibets. Um, the the uh, the queen. What's her name? She's the queen consort. Um, Camilla, again, Queen Consort Camilla is having Camilla Harris. a crown. Oh my gosh. Queen Consort, Queen Consort Camilla is having a crown uh, reset. What? Reset. Like, she's, I think she's taking two crowns, like, like Frankensteining them to make a crown for herself. Well, why? Because, like, everything has to be personal and, like, it has to be. That this was Queen Camilla's crown, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but um, so he 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 needs music, and he has all different types of music. Um, he's a real lover of the arts. He's a real promoter of the arts and um, a supporter of the arts. Uh, but anyway, do you know Andrew Andrew Lloyd Webber, super famous composer? Um, he's American, isn't he? But he did Phantom of the Opera. He's oh. very famous, and so they said, "Can you?" Um, he's still I, alive? Yeah. When did Phantom of the Opera come out? The eighties. Really? Yeah. I thought it was the oldest time. It might be, but not the Broadway version. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber has been chosen to compose the Coronation Anthem. Mm. And um, he is, I don't I don't think he's finished yet, but he has talked about it. And he is said he is pulling from the, from the 98th Psalm. Oh. Psalm 98 is called the Enthronement Psalm. It celebrates God as king. It's a freedom psalm about, um, it celebrates the kings from David's line and the liberation of Israel from captivity. So he's going to include pieces or he's going to be inspired by it. I don't know. But um, I thought that was great. That was great. It's going to be uh, interesting come May. Because it is in a church and it is, you know, pretty serious, but they are very Christian yeah. country. So um, Protestant. You're still Christian. I know, just making the differentiation. <laughs> um, Psalm 98, uh, if you recall, I'm I sure do. we've done it um, lots of times. Walk through Thursday. Yeah. Uh, it's um, sing, sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. Um, and if you don't know that, you probably know the song um, that is sung lots of times. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from the mountains high. Uh, which is, a, it's, it's called Psalm 98. And that's from Dan Shute, S-C-H-U-T-T-E. He has written so many famous uh, and like Catholic, Bible, yeah, Bible Catholic, in the, the Protestants are using the songs now, but originally in the Catholic liturgy. So the, the, the real good songs that you know and they play a lot if you've ever been to funerals or weddings even if you're not going to church um you would have heard it nice um 
He had already done it, but a lot of people. Okay, for that. Daniel Lloyd Webber. Andrew. Lloyd Webber. Yeah. I was thinking of his brother. You were thinking of Dan Shute, which I told you had already done a very famous song from Psalm 98. Yeah. Yeah. So Lilibet, Quadlibet, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jack in the Box. Just King Elizabeth. Because when, when you tell me one word Wednesday, I say one word only. It's one word Wednesday. <laughs> it's not just one word Wednesday. It's a real special day today, guys. It's a religious podcast. It's Ash Wednesday. Yes. So it's a Lenten. Let, let the Lenten begin. Ash Wednesday. Um, 2023. You know, 2023 starts on Wednesday, February 23rd. Only that, I mean, for people who don't know, it won't always be on February 23rd. No. It's always the... Uh, Around there. It's always a Wednesday. No. Yeah. Is it? Ash Wednesday. Of course. I'm doing my best. You're asleep. I am asleep. You're asleep over there. I've been, I've been working hard. I'm going to kick you in your shins. Please don't. Um. Yeah. Ash Wednesday. So uh, did you get your ashes? No. No? Are you going to? It's still early. It's way early in the a.m. Yeah. Um. I I, uh, I don't know. I will. They give them out all day. Yeah. I will. Um. We always talked about... In, in life and also on this podcast that sometimes priests give you nice um you, yeah. it's recognizably across well, other times just, you get a thumbprint yeah other times you get um a mess mm-hmm. i was thinking like something super you know runway where like it went from here all the way across here here all the way down there sounds like tribal i would like that you know it'd be cool uh, which i just thought about you know, people get all kind of weird tattoos. Yeah. And they get like a lot of satanic things. Yeah. Why, why hasn't why no one gotten like an Ash Wednesday tattoo? I wonder. Well, I'm sure someone has, but. And then you get the ink infused with ashes. Oh, yeah. Because that's like, wasn't that, isn't that how like ink was originally made? That would be really good. Yeah. But now that you're saying you can put ashes in ink, you could also I, get. I, I don't. I don't <laughs> <laughs> you you could get ashes in ink. You could get like your, your grandmother. Tattooed into you. I don't know if that's a real thing. You can do it. You just told me. No, I don't know. Well, you can with branding. Put ashes in yeah. branding? Yeah. If you put ashes in the brand, it stays ashes, darker. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But yeah, it's Ash Wednesday. So Lent begins. Um, It's going to be 40 days until Easter. Which is also, we figured out that it's not yeah, it's ever. A, it's not counting some Sundays right or something. Right number. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very holy time of the year. It's a... About reflection, about the sacrifices that Jesus and God did on on this earth for us. Obviously, the ultimate sacrifice being given His life to uh, to make up for our sins, original sin, and all that. And so, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of of thought. More, yeah. you know, people say reflection, and they you feel like you gotta lock yourself in the closet and whip yourself. Yeah, and and say i need to feel pain too right but no it's it's more of a time of celebration and i i want to do it too you know the first thing that that you know people were doing after you know kobe died they were all shooting their paper back in the baskets and say oh yeah kobe right it's like you want to <clears throat> do something small you know right in the middle of a football game on thanksgiving and halftime you go out and you play some football and it's like you want to ex- feel a small version of expression of what your idols do and right and so it's it's never supposed to be negative but you know jesus made a sacrifice for us and so we almost want to get like i, I want to challenge myself too right i want to be strong i want for myself you know I, I i often say that you know i feel like most lent things you give up aren't meant to be i am going to like i said you know, walk everywhere without shoes on right it's yeah like, a lot of people i'm going to stop drinking soda or i'm going to not hit anybody's pets in their yard Why? <laughs> always you, with the dog if you have a problem Violence. with that and you stop it's like it's for a good reason the yeah. same i mean obviously you know jesus wanted to give i uh, wanted to, to to be there for all of humanity it was something that was very hard to do but it's something he wanted to do and that's what it's all about it's about if he had the strength then i should have the strength or i want the strength yeah. give me the strength yeah and so um yeah so we'll probably give some stuff up yeah, it's it's um God is always with us and um always with us. We're never alone. We're always being supported. We're always being understood, um and so forth. But we do forget it lots of times and sometimes many times. 
um, you feel very alone. Yeah. And very for not forgotten so much as just kind of minuscule. Yeah. When so you could do your um your uh January resolution, you can do all sorts of different challenges or um oh I'm going to whatever, you know, these goals that you set for yourself. But Lent I feel and maybe it is because the whole world is um supporting like you don't even know it but because of everyone has the, has that one focus at this time not everyone but i'm saying the people who are doing it that's a lot of people yeah. um maybe that's you know also somehow supporting you that energy that yeah. positive energy yeah. but when you do things during lent whether you're giving something up or you're trying to i want to do this for 40 days I feel that you you feel closer than you do at other times when you are trying different challenges or yeah. you know yeah, you, you feel like you're walk you are walking you know yeah. the, the um, what's it called the um, stations of the cross yeah that you feel a part of something where you feel you're you're it's like hard but you're feeling stronger yeah and um even with uh you were telling me about ADD there's something called what shadowing or oh yeah double mm -hmm. personing yeah. What is it? What's the name of it? I think it's shot shadowing, but it's not. No, it's not. It's I would have thought of it before doubling. you said it. Well, it's the idea oh, that yeah, I know. With, with ADD, um, it's sometimes easier to do tasks if just someone else is there. So if you have to clean your room and you need to clean it, it's easier if someone's just sitting there yeah. with you. Right. Just because it's like it's kind of a self accountability thing. Yeah. And I think it's the same. I think a lot of times we betray ourselves um, and we say, I'm not good enough and stuff. But this is even when you are so with like um with uh New Year's resolutions, like, ah, I can't do this anymore. It's too hard. Yeah. But it's it's different because obviously no one physically is in the room with you. Yeah. But it's like there is that extra person that's like there with you. And I wanted to go back to that. So I think uh, idea of giving something up, maybe it's it's being worded wrong, right? Like, um, I was thinking about it. so New Year's resolutions, we give something up. Yeah. It's not easy. No. It's hard to give something up. I don't even like the wording. And if you think about it, oh, we have to give someone up because Jesus gave something up. No, he didn't. Like, well, he did. He gave up his mm -hmm. life. But it's like, if you told someone, hey, give up your life, why? Yeah. He was, he came to, um, you know, forgive us for all of our sins. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. He didn't give up something. He did something. Right. But in order to do something, he had to give something up. Yeah. Right? And that's what it's all about. Like, you shouldn't be, oh, what, what are you giving up? What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to be healthier for the next 40 days. Mm -hmm. How are you doing that? I'm going to give up soda. Right. You know, it's okay. like, when you, when you, like, that's the difference of, of New Year's resolutions. It's so much about giving up. And Lent, and I know it's worded like that, but if you really think about what you're emulating, you're emulating someone you know, God doing a hard thing, you know, in the earthly, even coming to earth for the reason of bettering him, other people, really. And so it's like, even if it is other, you're not benefiting yourself, benefiting other people. It's like, like one well, the one year you, you gave up, uh, or no, you didn't give up. Every time on the store screens, it said, would you like to donate? Oh, right. Uh, go up, up, change. Right. And you did it every time. So that might, oh, how does that benefit you? But it's like, that benefits other people. So it's like, I'm going to be more charitable. Mm -hmm. So what are you giving up? Pressing no on that right. stupid button or road rage. It's what are you giving up? Um, getting angry at other people. It's like, how are you doing that? Well, I'm not going to flip them off. And what, well, so I'm guessing, I'll guess that originally this is the way. This is and the then, way. And then, and then explaining to people or referencing it through the years mm -hmm. it got boiled down just just for you to just give someone up just give someone up yeah but and also just to say like instead of saying what are you going to do yeah. the path to become this better person you know or you know to be yeah. more christ-like so you just go what are you giving up because you just want to like mm -hmm. the fastest point you know is to say that like um what did you used to say? There's a saying that over time people are forgetting the end of it uh, um what's it called there's a, there's a lot oh. but um the one is well, jack of all trades, mm -hmm. um, but then end of it's master of none. Right. So it's like you think he's a jack of all trades, and it's you can he can do everything. But the original thing is kind of like the opposite of what Bruce Lee says. But um, Bruce Lee says, 
I'm more afraid of a man who trained one kick a thousand times than a man who trained a thousand kicks one time. Mm-hmm. But so that's like jack of all trades. But jack. so jack of yeah, so jack of all <laughs> trades, master of none means when you're you do everything, you're not good at one thing. Like you need to put your energy in something. No, that, 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 but the last member, jack of all trades, is, is master of none. We thought that was the end, but uh, then yeah. it goes. Ma- but Ma- that's better than master of one. Yeah, so it's that's what I'm saying. Oh. So jack of all trades, yeah. master of none, uh, something is better something. than or yeah. no, but, but something of all is better than none. Right. Whatever. The other one is blood is thicker than water. Okay. Right. So what does that mean? Blood is family is better than friends. Yeah, but it's actually blood of the covenant is um, thicker than water of the womb. Oh, so it's the total opposite. So, to- blood of the covenant meaning an agreement, you know, like a blood pact, like right. between people two agreeable people yeah is thicker than the water Just of the, the womb that you're you, were bo- you were born into it that's another right level. so this one you know same that's what made me think so the lent what are you giving up and it's like if you don't really realize what the rest of the words yeah. were or how you got to that last little piece yeah. you just think oh okay i'll give up it's, fish on fr- meat on if fridays G- if jesus came you know yeah. down and oh well, what are you doing here I'm giving up my life. What? Like, right. Why? Right. It's no. Uh, I'm here to save you all. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what? How? And then only after that, you're like, oh my gosh! Like it, it took that to save us all. And I think it definitely. I, I I've I've been saying this probably since we started talking about Lent. Uh, whenever we started ch- chatting, which I've been when I went back to like read the Bible and a lot of especially with like old like Catholic or just Christian traditions. And people seeing them as like meaningless traditions. In a way, I, I both agreed with that, but then I'm like, how do they start? And what they've become is very different right. than what they start, than how they started, which makes it so I don't say they're meaningless. I say they're meaningless unless you do them the right way. Right. You don't have to give anything up, right? Like you don't have to give something up to be spiritual in God's eyes. That was never, that's not Mm-mm. the point of it. And so long as you just see it as, eh, my mom tells me I can't eat meat on Friday, so I can't. But it's right. like, if it is something that can like better you or something, and you're using it for a positive way, which is like, like like I said, I mean, I you feel like you have someone in your corner doing something that you wouldn't normally have the strength to do. Right. It's uh, it's very beneficial for you. Like, it's so much of, of what, I think it's like, you see kind of on the, in the Bible, like, a redundancy and kind of like a oh my gosh like like of <laughs> from, from like get it through your heads is it's not saying live a terrible life it's right. almost like live a live a fruitful life all you have to do is do it through like do it through me and yeah. things will work out for you it, it's it's like no you don't need to spend lent and it's like you need to starve yourself or, or go on a food, um, you know, a liquid food diet. It's like, I'm here. Now, use this 40 days and change your life for the positive. Right. And I'll be with you. It's yeah. like, be selfish. And it's hard to do things for yourself that are hard. But I'm here for you when you don't have it. Can you, like, that's what life is about. It's like the ultimate sacrifice. But then also saying, now, also, when you're ready to sacrifice, I'll be here. You Use me as, as, a, as right. a guide. To go th- get through your sacrifices that you need that you think right. are going to be positive. Right. It's a it's a double whammy, and it's all positive when you look at that. You can spin it negative and say, "Oh, it's like you wouldn't need to give things up and Mm-mm. do all this." It's, it's no, the, it's it, the it, ultimate show of love. Yeah, it's, it was never magical. I made the biggest sacrifice. Yeah. Now any sacrifice you can right. lean on me because you know I right. You know that I went through it for you guys. Yeah. Now whatever sacrifices you have, I'll be here for you. Yeah. Um, you done know when you were talking about doing it um you know if, 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 if everyone's doing Lent at the same time you're all having a little challenge at the same time I pictured like a marathon where of course you can run it's a country with lots of roads far scum yeah. you, you can yeah, run 100%. what is it 23 miles 23 miles 26.3 miles yeah wow 26.6 26.2. Well, no, 26.2 because 13.1 is a half marathon. Okay. Um, by yourself, you know? Yeah. So why am I paying? And 
elbow elbow you know because doing it with everyone is so much easier is is yeah and I, I ran 10 miles on you know the it's broad it's as painful but it's I don't even know if that's big. I mean, like, yeah, it's that's well, hard. It has to I'll be. say that's difficult. It's on your body, yeah. I know, but I mean, that's just the way. That's the part of of the mind and, and yeah. the sense of community True. and stuff. And it's like, you, I'm sure you can scientifically see that the same amount of, um, you know, what's the uh, what kind of acid goes into your body? Oh yeah, I know exactly. Lactic. Lactic yeah. acid mm-hmm. is going through your body, but you don't feel it, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, and uh, yeah, I ran ten miles at brush for the brush run. And it felt like I did less than running three miles alone. And, you know, it's even compounded, like I said, when you, when you bring, that's why people are, especially in the sports world are so, I feel like big, there's all, you see a lot of religion in it. Yeah. Because it's like some of the hardest feats, even when you're by yourself, if it, if it, uh, wait, you're telling me you still feel like you have that marathon, like that, that marathon high of like being around people right. when you're by yourself. Like how? It's because right. if you're walking it as if you're not walking it by yourself. As if and also just like I said, the I think accountability is another big thing. Mm-hmm. It's a you can lie to a lot of people, and it's like you can even lie to yourself. And it's like I don't, I don't, I mean, it's not like a Santa Claus thing where it's like he sees you when you're like it's not like a negative like oh I, I don't want to let him down, but it it kind of like gives you a self awareness yeah of being self accountable right. You can lie to yourself and be like. I'm self-accountable, but like uh, you make excuses for yourself. Yeah. But if you set like a, what you're doing, and then it's just kind of like, well, I can I can't trick myself anymore because yeah. I, I know that I made this this pact, this covenant, saying I'll do something, and I want to do it. Yeah. I, I want to make myself proud by staying true to it. But I know what I can do. I know what I have to do. So I'm not <laughs> sure I have the strength to do it. Is that from something? Yeah, probably. I mean, definitely. I just don't know what it's from. Okay. So, do you have any any Lenten thing, Lenten, Lenten um intentions that you want to share or no? No, just between me and okay, old uh, Jack in the Box. I, I won't. I'm not going to miss a podcast. Don't say that. I put it on me too. I'll be here, <laughs> Jack and I. No, that wasn't my thing. Um, I'm going to add and subtract as much as I want even if I think of something tomorrow or next Wednesday you know I have 40 days but starting out um something super popular classic you know is uh like a like a stop a soda drink or something yeah, like that well, which is you know that's all good stuff because a lot you know you can make like you might think oh that's not something like big but in a way the smallest things are sometimes the hardest things because they mean the least. True. They mean, sorry, they mean the least when you do it. Yeah. But they're also just as hard to get out of. Right. To not be doing. Right. So it's like, uh, oh, you would never even like do stop doing these small things during a New Year's resolution. No. What are you doing in the New Year? I'm not drinking soda. It's like, what? Like, why? Right. Well, that's not a resolution. That's yeah. just a decision. But in this like 40 days, it's like a, it's a nice because it can be something that, yeah. that's like, I would never normally do this because why? Really? What's the point? But it's like, do you want to be drinking soda here and there? No. And I'm saying soda, but it could be a candy, you know, like ice cream. I'm saying right. these small things. It's yeah. like, oh, like that's not, that's not big enough. It's like, that's the best thing about it, yeah. it is these small little things that add up. And if not through something like Lent, when? The little drummer yeah. boy. My favorite, my favorite, favorite little tune. My favorite little, ditty, my favorite little quadrangle. What is it? Quad, quadlibet. Quad, quadlibet. Quad yeah, the little drummer boy. I, well, that's not good. All I'm doing for Lent is, you know, um, recycling or something. And it's like, that's enough, little drummer boy. Yeah, you're done, so. Amen. All right, guys. Well, everyone have a good Lent. Um, whether you celebrate. Have a good Lent. See you in 40 days. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> If you celebrate it or not, um, that's up to you. But just enjoy it and. Uh, but know that a lot, you're, you have support of the people you can't see or know you have around of the, the world. People you can't see or know, and just know I'm watching you. <laughs> no, Jack is watching. Jack's wa- Jack's always watching. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>